I have my VIB or VIB Rouge haul for you guys. Last week at Sephora there was 15% off if you were I think VIB and VIB Rouge and I think it was 10% off if you were just a normal beauty insider. I definitely took advantage of the sale. I picked up quite a few things. I think I went a little insane with all the stuff I got but it's 15% off and we all know that Sephora only does sales twice a year and 15 or 20% off is like the max you can get on a lot of these brands. It's very interesting to me, like typically 15 or 20% off like a clothing item or when you go grocery shopping, you wouldn't even bat an eye at, but like when it's on makeup items, we go crazy. Like we'll buy everything, even if we didn't really want it, we'll just buy it because it's such a good deal. And that's always crazy to me. So this is probably going to be a really big ass haul and a really long video. So please do not judge me, although I think the judgment could be okay because then maybe I will be better next time, but I went really insane and I don't know. I'm just happy with everything I bought and I'm 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 justifying it. So let's get into all the items I picked up at the Sephora VIB Rouge sale. So I'm going to start off with the samples I got. If you attended their party on the first day the sale was for VIB Rouge, I think it was on April 12th, you got like this really cute clutch that is like a fold over. It was really cute and I was really happy to pick this up because I didn't actually go to the party. I went to the store a few hours later but they still had some left so I was really excited for that. And in here came quite a few samples. Um, most of them were like skincare or hair samples. I'm not going to show you those just because it's just little tiny samples, but I'm going to show you a few of the samples I was really excited for. Plus, I placed an online order, so you do get a few samples when you do place an online order, so I was excited for that. One thing that did come in here was a full-size nail polish, like the Formula X. It was like a shimmery red color. I know that a few other people got different colors, but I was really happy to get a full-size nail polish because normally Sephora never gives you that kind of thing, so I was really excited. One sample I got online was this one, and I was really excited for it. It's four uh, little samples of lipsticks. It's the Urban Decay Sheer Revolution lipsticks. I was really excited for these because I figured it was a really good way to try out the lipsticks. And I got the typical perfume samples. I got Daisy Dream by Marc Jacobs and I also got Daisy by Marc Jacobs. And then I got my favorite perfume, well one of my favorite perfumes, which is Shador by Dior. And I never see this as a sample so I was really excited to get a little tiny one so I could stick it in my purse. And then one of the cutest little tiny samples that I got and like I think my favorite thing, like I freaked out and I was like, oh my god, look at how tiny this is, is this Buxom Full On Lip Cream Lip Gloss. It's so cute. It's like the tiniest little lip gloss of life. Like maybe even like three applications of this, but it's just so cute. And it's in the color Pink Lady, which I already have in full size, but if I'm wearing like a super tiny clutch if I'm going out at night or something like that, I figured this might be really nice to have. So I did spend a few of my points as as well I got a small sample of the Ole Hendrickson the truth serum collagen booster I've heard really good things about this I think it was Jaclyn Hill who talked about it but I really wanted to test it out to go with one of the other items I got and I'll let you know when I come to that what it is and then I got two mascaras with hundred point perks I got better than sex I do have another sample of this I have yet to try it but I figured I might as well pick up another one I love mascara samples I feel like they last as long as a full mascara and then I don't have to buy it so I picked that up and I I got the Dior Shore, Dior Shore, and I got the Dior Show Maximizer Lash Plumping Serum. So this is like a something you put on your lashes before you put mascara on to like make it more voluminized. Is that even a word? Voluminized? We're gonna go with that. So let's get into all the craziness that I bought during the sale. I'll start with sort of skincare items. I got the Origins Ginseng Energy Boosting Moisturizer. I was really excited to try this. I've heard really good things about this. I have the other, I forget what it's called. It's the one that has like a little bit of a tint to it and it has the SPF. I have that and I really like it. I also have the eye cream and I really like it. So I figured this might be really good for the summer. And again, I can mix it with something that I bought as well. but. I really like the smell of it. It smells like oranges. I got the Smashbox Photo Finish Primer Water. I was really excited to get this. I have the Urban Decay one, but I use that one more of a setting spray, so I'm really interested to try this as a primer. And Nicole from Young Wild and Polished, I think that's her YouTube name, she like raves and raves about this, and I needed to try it. So I was really excited to pick this up. Something else that I was really excited to pick up and I was really happy it released right before the sale, and I like placed my order at midnight when the sale released to make sure I got this, although I don't even think it sold out, was the new Kat Von D Shade and Light Eye Contour Palette. I was really excited for this. I'm really into the nude eyeshadow right now, so this 
this is totally something that I was really excited to try. I have yet to test it out. I got most of these items last night. Um, because I live in Canada, the shipment usually takes a little bit longer because it's got to go through a border. I haven't been able to test any of these out, but as soon as I opened this, I was like, oh, because it's amazing. It's so pretty and it's just like exactly what I wanted it to be. I got two things from NARS. The first one is the NARS Ita brush. I was really excited for this. I originally didn't think I would want it. I have the Real Techniques one, the metal contour brush as well as a Sonia Kashuk contour brush so I didn't think I needed this but one Tati from Glam Life Guru and Nicole from Young Well and Polish used this a lot I really wanted to pick it up the one thing I did not realize is that it's literally held on by string on the side so I'm like what if one day it accidentally breaks or like I don't know some sort of blade makes it into it and it cuts and like then I'm just stuck with like this little tiny like brush thing I don't know I think that it's a weird way to make a brush like you can see right through it but I think it might be really nice because it's a lot less dense than the other two contour brushes that I've talked about and then I picked up one of the audacious lipsticks I have two I have Barbara and Julie and I really enjoy them so I wanted to pick up the most nude one which is Raquel I really enjoy the formula of these and I really enjoy how they look so I figured it was time for me to pick up the most nude out of them because it's the one that I'm gonna get the most wear out of I got two things from Stila I got their new Shape and Shade Custom Contour Duo in light. Obviously got in light because I am like pale. But this is a really nice cream contour. I really enjoy this. I've used this one a little bit because I actually picked this up in store rather than ordering it online. And I think that it blends really nicely. I am going to be doing a cream contour sort of comparison soon so definitely stay tuned for that and then the other Stila item I got was this it's the field of floral convertible color duo lip and cheek palette and this is the one that comes with like many shades of the lip and cheek convertible colors I have a few of them I have two of them I have Lilium and I think I have Peony and I really enjoy them. I haven't used them in a while, but I like the consistency of them. I think that they are a little bit sticky for a blush, but I think that they might be really nice in the summer. And I just really wanted to pick this up. Apparently it is limited edition, so I wanted to make sure I got my hands on it before it went away. I got two things from Hourglass. I got one of the ambient lighting powder. I already have four of them. This is one of the last two that I didn't have. This one is in Luminous Light. I don't really want the other one. It's quite shimmery and quite bronzy, although that could be really nice for summer, so maybe I eventually will get it. But this one I originally didn't really want, but I saw Kathleen Lights talk about it, and it's a really nice light highlight. So if you want something that looks really natural or something that's just nice for every day and you don't like a BAM highlight, this would be really nice to have. And then I picked up one of the bronzers, which I think that are kind of ridiculously overpriced, but I totally fell into the hype and I was really stoked for it. I got this one, this, these are called Ambient Lighting Bronzer, and I got this one in Luminous Bronze Light. So same color essentially as this one, but it's mixed with a bronzer. I saw swatches of both of the ones. This one's in Luminous and then the other one I think is in Radiant, and I saw swatches of both of them. I really wasn't interested in the Radiant. It looked a little bit orangey and super shimmery, so I figured this one would be a nice way for me to start. I got three Becca items. The first one I got is another one of these Shimmering Skin Perfectors Pressed. I got this one in Moonstone. I already have Opal and Rose Gold and I was really interested to try Moonstone. I love the quality of these and I think the texture of them are amazing. This one is a little bit lighter than Opal so I think that it might be really nice just to add if you are already bronzed your skin and you don't want too much of a bronzy glow. I also got this. This is a low light highlight perfecting palette pressed and you get like the top part is supposed to be the low light and then the bottom part is supposed to be the highlight. I can never get this open. This is the low light and this is the highlight. This is supposed to be I guess a contour color and this is actually Becca Opal which I think it might be really nice for travel. And the last Becca item I got, I was super excited for. I originally wasn't really interested in this, but when I saw more people use it on YouTube, I definitely needed to pick it up. And it's the Becca Ombre Nudes Eye Palette. This is going to be beautiful for like the summer, or even the winter. I think that the nude sort of matte shades are really beautiful and you can really customize what you want to do with it. You can go really dark or you can go really light and you don't have to worry about it looking too dramatic. I was super excited about this and it's super cute. It's like a super small package so you don't have to worry about it being too bulky if you're going to be traveling with it. And then I went crazy for these Clinique Cheek Pop. They released eight new shades. Two of them I think were exclusive to Sephora and I love 
love the four first original shades that I have so I wanted to pick up all eight and I know that's like insane so don't judge me or judge me whatever you want to do but I had to pick them all up and I waited for the sale because essentially I think with the sale I got one for free or like I'm not sure how it worked but it worked out way better because I originally was going to buy these when they first released but I was like no be smart wait for the sale. I got Pink Pop, which is a really nice light pink color. And I got Heather Pop, which I didn't just get for the name, although I am obsessed with anything that has Heather in the name. This is like a mid-tone, more on the mauve side pink color, but still quite light. Pansy Pop, which I think is my favorite out of the bunch. It's a really pretty lilac blush. You don't see this around too much, so I was really excited to pick that up. Melon Pop, which is a light mid-tone coral color, more on the lighter side. Nude Pop, which is a really pretty light nude color. I really like these kind of nude colors, especially when you have a tan because it just really accentuates it. Cola Pop, which is really dark, but I think really pretty. I think that with a light hand this will be gorgeous. Rosy Pop, which is more of a mid-tone pink color compared to some of the other pink ones. The last one I got is Fig Pop, which is more on the neutral side, a little bit of undertones of orangey or bronze colors, but it's more mid-tone. Got two Kevin Aquan products. I got one of these, the Sensual Skin Enhancers. It's one of the like really pigmented concealer or like foundation products. When I got this, I was like, I just paid $58 or however much it was for this little tiny pot of whatever it is but when I tested like I took the tip of whatever like product was there and tested on my hand and it pretty much covered like the whole back of my hand so I think that this is going to be really nicely pigmented. They don't sell this in Canada. I had to order online and guess my shade. I got SX02 because I'm fair and I have pink undertones. I can usually guess my shade online. It's usually like the lightest pink shade and it was really nice because these ones had descriptions as well. It said like I think fair to light with pink undertones so it was really nice that I was able to pick up the shade. I think it might be a little bit too pink for me but I can pretty much make it work. The other Kevin Aquan product I got is this little palette right here. It's their contour powder. So this is called the Sculpting Powder and it says medium, although on the Sephora website they only had one shade. I've heard a lot of people talk about this like way before contour was ever really popular so I wanted to check it out and compare it to some of the other contour products I got. And this is the shade right here. It's a lot more cool tone than some of the other contour products that are making a, a splash right now but I thought that this was really interesting. I got one of the Too Faced Melted Liquefied Longwear Lipstick. I got this one in Melted Melon. This one is a really pretty color. I think that it will be perfect for summer, so I wanted to pick it up. I have quite a few of the other shades, and I really do like the consistency of them. I got one of the Lancome Sticks. This one is called Le Duo Contour and Highlight Stick. This one's in Ivory. When I was in Seattle, like way back at the beginning of this year, I saw this, and this never made the, its way to Canada, so I had to order online, although I think it's now in Canada, but it took forever and I wanted to pick this up specifically for the contour shade. This is like the most cool tone cream contour shade I've seen. And this is the highlight shade. It does seem to have a little bit of shimmer in it. I haven't tested these out yet because I did just get them last night. One thing from Armani that I did get is this. This is their master corrector. I got it in shade 1. Lisa Lisa D1 talks about this all the time and I have really bad dark under eyes. I am going to be doing a concealer review slash my top 5 concealers soon so definitely stay tuned for that. But I thought that this would be really nice to cancel out any kind of darkness that I have under my eyes and I've heard her talk about this for years. I also majorly bought into the hype and got one of these Cover FX custom cover drops. This is like 100% pure pigment in here and it comes with like a dropper and you just drop how many drops you want in something to mix it with. So you can mix it with something like the face cream that I got or even like the Ole Hendrickson serum. You can mix it with a primer. I got these two sort of skincare things to try to mix with this. I wanted to test out and see how it worked but I was really interested to try this because I don't normally wear foundation daily so I figured that this might be nice to add like one drop to my moisturizer to get a little bit of even skin tone coverage but then I don't have to worry about wearing like a full foundation throughout the day. And I guess my shade in this as well because in Sephora in Canada they don't sell this. They don't sell cover effects at all. And I got P20 which was again I think like light to fair with pink undertones and it pretty much is my 
my color and because I'm going to be wearing it so sheerly I don't have to worry about it too much but I think that this is really nice I don't think that the size of this is really big it's 15 milliliters which I think a normal foundation is 30 milliliters so it's about half the size and you're paying about an average foundation price I think it was close to like $45 but I think that that will last me forever because apparently like to get full coverage you only need like four drops of the foundation and really I'm only going to be using one or two so I will like never go through that so I'm very excited for that and then the two last things I got were brushes I got the new Sephora Pro Contour number 79 brush this is new this is a really nice brush it reminds me of that Sigma brush that's like tapered and a lot of people use it for highlight I really want to try that brush but I saw this one and it, it seems really nice so I wanted to pick it up I'm really happy with a lot of the Sephora brushes I have and I always love that they come with these little containers and then I got the Bobbi Brown sheer powder brush and this one is similar to the contour brush from Sephora but it's a lot longer so I figured this might be really nice for setting um, my either my under eyes or setting sort of the t-zone of my face I got this one and then I also ordered one from Mac so obviously this one's not from Sephora but I wanted to sort of show you the comparison this is a new Mac brush that's come out recently it's called Mac 137 I do believe it's permanent but it did just get released recently these are quite similar the Mac one is a little bit longer and a little bit less dense feeling it's a little bit more flimsy which I think will be nice to really apply the powder very softly where this one might be really nice for setting the under eyes to get it a little bit more thicker so that was my Sephora VIB Rouge sale haul I hope you guys don't think I'm crazy because I think I'm crazy and I need someone to tell me that I'm not although if you think that I'm crazy you can tell me that as well I'm really happy with the majority of the items I got I do need to test them out I obviously didn't show swatches in this video because I figured that video would be really long so if you do want reviews or swatches on any of the products definitely let me know in the comments below so definitely subscribe because I will be doing videos comparing the cream contour sticks as well as my top concealers slash concealer reviews. And thanks so much for watching. Stay tuned.